Welcome back to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. I'm Phil, I'll be teaching you guys today. And we'll be looking at a song by Ben Folds 5. We're looking at a tune called Brick. And I'll be showing you the chorus from our intermediate level arrangement. That section sounds like this. One, two, set, go. Hey, 100%. All right, let's dig into it. I'll start by breaking down the right hand part for you first, shall we? Our key signature tells us that there are two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. That tells us we're in the key of D. Our time signature is 4-4, four, four, and that means four beats per measure. Now, before we dig into the notes here, it's important to remember that this is the intermediate level arrangement and that we're doing some vocal melody stuff in our right hand. So for those of you who are diehard Ben Folds fans and you want to learn the exact piano part that they play in the recording, you're not really going to find it in this level. And that part, of course, you know, something like this. That's the part that he plays underneath the verse, right? It's an iconic, beautiful part. But here in this arrangement, we're doing chords in the left hand and vocal melody stuff in the right hand. So keep that in mind as we dig into this. Our first note is an A way up here with our pinky. And that puts us in a D position because our thumb is on D. Next measure, our two finger comes over to C sharp. Thumb stays on D though, then you play E. So we're in this D position, but sometimes our two finger is going to reach down to C sharp. Okay, so again from the top it goes rest, A, D, 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 reach over, C sharp, D, D, E. There's our first phrase. All right, second phrase starts the same way, rest, A. D, 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 two over to C sharp, but this time our thumb's coming out from underneath so it can play B. But in the next line down, our next phrase, we jump right back up to that D position again. This time two comes over again, and we're going to shift our whole position down. Three on D, four on E. Similar, actually exactly the same notes and rhythms as the first phrase, but we're changing our fingering a little bit. That's it, so there's three phrases. We end this section with two bars of rest while the left hand plays some chords. Okay, so that's it for the right hand. Why don't we try it now along with our backing track and we'll do it at a slower speed to start. Once we get that down, we'll speed it up to full tempo. Here we go. One and two and three and go. Rest A, D, D. C sharp back to D. And rest and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Look ahead and two, three and four. One, two, three, four. Then we rest. Okay, way to go. So you notice there's some syncopations going on in this right hand part, right? There's some rhythms that accent the weak beats in a measure as opposed to the strong beats, one, two, three, and four, okay? A great example of this can be found in the fourth measure of the notation above. We see C sharp, one, and two, and three, and four, and. It's almost all on the ands, right? So. Take a look at those syncopations and take your time as you start to speed this section up. But when you're ready, now let's try it at full tempo. One, two, set, go. All right, we did it. 
There's 100% for our right hand, we got it down. We're about to switch gears to the left hand, but first let me tell you quickly that we're running a free trial for all of you YouTube subscribers out there, where you can try our interactive app with no strings attached and no money down. Tap this card above if you want to learn more, if you want to start getting graded on your real performances by the app as you play, and so much more. Then tap that card and sign up for your free trial today, you won't be disappointed. All right, well, let's jump back in. I'm gonna show you these left-hand chords. We've got three different chords here in this section. First, before we jump into the context of the notation above, I'll just show you those three chords. First one is G over D, looks like this. Next, we move up a whole step to A over E, and there's a C sharp in there. And then we play a D major chord in root position. That's it, so G over D, A over E, and D. So if we look at the first chord in the notation, in the first phrase actually, the first two measures, we see those three chords in order. G over D, A over E, and then D. So let's talk a little bit about the rhythm. On the G chord, we see a dotted quarter note. So we know that that gets one and two. The next chord, we see an eighth note tied to a half note. So one and two and three and four and one more time one and two and three and four and then d gets the whole measure on a whole note second phrase same thing one and two and three and four and one two three four third phrase same thing again one and two and three and four one two three Four. Now the fourth phrase is almost the same, but we change it up a little bit. It starts the same, one and two and three and, but here instead of holding out the A over E for the rest of the measure, we're going to jump back down to the G over D on beat four, then play D in the second measure of this phrase, okay? So it's almost the same, but we're adding one more G over D. All right, when you're ready, let's now try this with our backing track. And we'll start slow with this one as well. Here we go. One and two and three and go. One and two and three, four. Look ahead. One and two and three, good. Look ahead, same thing. One and two and. Now here comes the new one. One and two and three and four. That's it. Good work, so when you're ready now, let's speed it up to full tempo, but we're not in a hurry. If you need extra practice with the left hand at the slow speed, please, I encourage you to take it. But when you're ready, let's do it. One, two, set, go. Okay, we got 100% for the left hand as well. Starting to feel good, right? Our final step is to put these hands together. So we'll do that now. We'll go slowly to start, then we'll speed it back up. Here we go. Before we jump in, let's just talk about some of the syncopations we see here between the hands. And we'll look at the first measure above as an example. Our left hand chords play on the downbeat, one. And our right hand, at the beginning of each of these phrases, is resting on beat one. There's an eighth rest, and then we come in on the and of one. So one and two and three and four. That can be pretty tricky. If we look at the first, third, fifth, and seventh measures of this section, we can see a similar rhythm. Actually, not the seventh, right? That's just left hand. But the first, the third, and the fifth, we see the same thing. One and two and three. So what I'm doing there is just isolating the tricky part and looping it. You can also do that in the app by highlighting a measure or two measures and hitting play, and it will just cycle through and allow you to practice 
and loop a certain section. But that's what I'm doing there to get more comfortable and familiar with that syncopation. I encourage you to do the same before jumping in, but when you're ready, here we go, hands together at the slow speed. One, two, set, go. All right, there we have it. Final step, let's speed it up. Here we go. One, two, set, go. We did it! Way to go, everyone! That's Brick by Ben Folds 5. That's the chorus from our intermediate level arrangement. Way to go! If you want to finish this song in the app, or switch it up to a different difficulty level, or just change directions and do something totally different in the app, we've got it all there for you, and I'll remind you that we're doing a free trial. If you tap this card above that says, what are you waiting for, you can find out more for yourself. In the meantime, I'm Phil, and I hope I see you soon for the next video lesson. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. Alright guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.